Zack Snyder's Justice League premieres on HBO Max in March 2021, the Mandalorian finale teaser is here, and more fallout from the Tom Cruise audio leak. Hello, I'm Chris Killian, and today's only an OK News Day. No pathetic excuses. The audio of Tom Cruise sounding off on crew members for breaking COVID-19 safety protocols has been a hot button topic since it was released yesterday. I agree with him. Now though, according to The Sun's latest report, it seems there was a second flare up last night and since then five members of the Mission Impossible 7 crew have reportedly left and quit the production. You can just love it or leave it, Tommy! While we don't have audio of the second rant, I imagine it's probably got at least a little something to do with the first rant leaking to the public, but what do I know? Look, I'm not a scientist, okay? While we don't have an official date just yet, Zack Snyder has confirmed that March 2021 is when his cut of Justice League will be hitting HBO Max, or at the very least, the first part out of four. I'm personally of the opinion that they'll likely tease us and release these in weekly installments. Wait! No, wait! 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 Sorry for you Lizzie McGuire fans, but despite the fact that production had already begun, the Lizzie McGuire reboot is not moving forward according to Hilary Duff. Sources say it basically came down to a disagreement between Disney with Duff and showrunner Terry Minsky. Disney wanted the Lizzie McGuire return to be as wholesome as the original series, while Duff wanted it to be a little more adult oriented now that she and Lizzie are all grown up. You deserve better, Lizzie. The long-awaited Mandalorian finale goes down tomorrow, and to capitalize on the excitement, Disney has released a trailer with no spoilers if you've been keeping up with the show, and this is it. Is Mando going to rescue Grogu? Because if Favre and Filoni follow the Phantom Menace template, Baby Yoda's about to join the dark side. No! No! Look, I'm not saying I want that to happen, but if it does, it's gonna sting like a son of a it's gonna break his heart. Sadly, we just got word the original actor who portrayed Boba Fett in Empire and Return of the Jedi, Jeremy Bullock, has passed away at the age of 75, so our thoughts go out to his friends and family. May the force be with you. The lead singer of Creed, generally considered the second most hated band only behind Nickelback, Scott Stapp, has been tapped to play Frank Sinatra in an upcoming movie about Ronald Reagan. Is this a joke? Afraid not. Finally, we've got our first look with these images at the long-awaited sequel Coming to America 2, which will be premiering on Amazon on March 5th, 2021. And look how good James Earl Jones is still looking. I'm King Joffrey Joffre, ruler of Zamunda. And that's it for today. You can find me on Instagram at CK Comedy if you want to be my friend, but you'll be everybody's friend if you remember to wash your hands. And as always, thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news. Hello, hello, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn them notifications on because we're bringing you the best geek news Monday through Friday at 11.30 Eastern Time. If you didn't like the video, why are you still watching this? I would have stopped watching forever ago. Go on, get out of here. Go find something you like.